Hey guys, welcome to our channel. Please click the subscribe button and click the bell icon and never miss another update from Almighty Java. In this video, we will see how to implement Interceptor in Spring Boot. Before going further, let's see what is the use of Interceptor and Spring. Spring Interceptor are used to intercept client requests and process them. Sometimes we want to intercept the HTTP request and do some processing before handing it over to the controller handler methods. So here I continue book REST API project, which you can find in my GitHub repository. Before implement Interceptor first, let's run this. Server started. Let's open the README file. Let's open the first GET request. See, it is working. Before adding interceptor related logic, let's add the logger so we can easily track which method is executing. See I added log for all the methods. Let's hit the get request again. See here you can see in log directly find all method is calling. But there are many things we use add before any kind of request call. So if there is any possibility we can validate the request and even before sending a response back to the user if we want to perform some additional operation that also we can do it. In this video, we can use Interceptor. Let's create a new package for Interceptor. Now let's create a new class and class name let's say book Interceptor. This class will implement handle Interceptor interface. Now let's override pre-handle, post-handle and after completion method. Here I am not doing anything I am just putting the log. Now let's create a new class and class name let's say book interceptor config. So this class will handle the book interceptor configuration. This class will extend web MVC configuration support class. Now let's override add interceptors method. Let's create the reference for book interceptor. Annotate this with auto wired. Now let's see how to register this book interceptor using registry. So inside interceptor registry class there is a method and method name is add interceptor. Annotate this class as a component. Annotate this book interceptor also as a component. That's it. Now let's run and see interceptor logs are coming or not. Let's hit the get request again. See it is printing all the logs like pre post and after completion. I hope you understood the use of interceptor. So it is like before reaching call directly to requested URL. We can validate the request similarly before sending response we can validate. Now let's execute the post request. But for that, we need to pass JSON as a request body. Let's open the postman. Here we need to add content type as application JSON. Here add request body. See here is the JSON data, let's copy. Now let's click on the send button. See it is working. See here also showing data for ID2. Now let's say what if content type is missing. Now let's click on the send button. See it is throwing unsupported media type error. See here also it is throwing an error and you can see there is no call for the save method.
Now let's remove the JSON request from the body. See now it is throwing bad request error. See here also it is throwing an error and you can see there is no call for the save method. But now let's see how to prevent it so instead of throwing an error it should return an error response. And we are going to handle this using book interceptor pre-handle method. Let's create a flag and set it to true. And instead of returning this value let's return the flag. Now get the method from request and hold it to method variable. Here we are handling the error for post and put method. Let's add the simple condition to check the method type. Now hold the content type from request. Let's add a simple condition to check content type. Here I am checking only JSON type. So in case of the post or put we are expecting content type must be JSON so if not then set flag it to false. So if the flag is false then redirect it to invalid URL. I hope whatever we implement till now it is clear for you. For this invalid case let's add changes in resource and resource implementation class. Here I am throwing some sort of common message. That's it. Server restarted. Let's check. Send the request without a content type. See it is not throwing any error it is just redirecting to invalid method. Now let's check the log. See here after pre-handle it is redirecting to an invalid. Now let's handle one more scenario so now let's check the request body is available or not. So there is a method of HTTP servlet request class and the method name is a get content length. Now let's check content length should not be less than 2, so if it is then also redirected to an invalid. That's it. Server restarted. First. Let's check the valid scenario. See it is working fine. In log also you can see save method call is happening after pre-handle. Now let's send the request without a request body. See it is not throwing any error it is just redirecting to invalid method. Now let's check the log. See here after pre-handle it is redirecting to invalid. There is no save method call. Now let's send the request with empty JSON. See for this case also it is not throwing any error it is just redirecting to invalid method. Now let's check the valid scenario. See it is working fine. Let's hit the get request. See it is showing three records now. I hope whatever we implemented is clear for you. Let's stop the server and review the code. See here we added some sort of validation and pre-handle method for content type and content length. So like that we can handle so many types of scenarios I added changes only for pre but we can handle scenarios in the post and after completion method also. See we created only one interceptor but in a real time scenario, there can be multiple interceptors. So like we added one similarly we can add multiple. I hope now you will not forget the use of interceptor. I checked in my changes, I will show you from where you can find these. See here are the changes.
That's it for this video. Please like and share this video. Subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching.